Uh, one of the things I usually say when I start a speech, I tell people I'm not a politician. Uh, even though I'm running for this office, I'm still not a politician. Uh, I'm a candidate for a judicial position. You, know, you don't want a politician in this position. As an example of something that's going on right now, in the state of Missouri, there's a, a guy who was convicted uh, for killing someone many, many, uh, 33 years ago. He's now trying to get out, and the, a trial judge has decided twice that he should be released from prison. Even the prosecuting attorney in that county wants to release him from the prison. But the attorney general, who's now running for office, wants to show the people in Missouri that he's tough on crime, so he's fighting this guy who's innocent from being released from prison. Uh, mistakes sometimes do get made and they need to be corrected, and that's what the Supreme Court does. The Supreme Court affirms cases that are correct and they correct cases that are wrong. Uh, you need somebody who's not a politician, who's not controlled by anybody else, to make those decisions and to do them fairly uh, and be fair and impartial. That's one of the canons of something that you, uh, a ju ex judge decides or swears to is that they're going to be fair and impartial. And that's something I believe I can do. Uh, trying to look at my notes, uh, trying to remember everything that I want to say. Uh, another, another point that I wanted to, to mention is that Mississippi, the attorneys don't have specialization where you go to a doctor that you have a specialist, a doctor who's trained just to be a surgeon. Mississippi does not have that kind of specialization. What we have is, are called sections, and we have an appellate law section. And that appellate law section, you ask to join that section, and you join, and you then are, give, are given special classes you can attend to learn more about appellate law and appellate procedure. In this race, there's nobody in this race that's gonna speak to you today that's a member of that section other than me. That section was formed in 2012, and I believe that I joined in 2012, and I'm still a member of it. And like I said, nobody else is a even a member of that. Uh, being this appellate judge for the Supreme Court is something, that, again, that I've thought about since I was there. When I left there, after clerking for a year, I told them I would be back, and I, I've dragged my feet for many different reasons. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a public speaker. Uh, talked about my sisters earlier, they all have a medical background, and, and uh, as I was walking up those steps to come in here, I started thinking, I wish I'd gone to medical school, uh, and I, I'm still thinking that, <laughs> but uh, I started working, uh, something about my work ethic, I started working when I was 12 years old, I worked, uh, we're from a farm family, have a farm background, I worked for my uncle in a field when I was 12. After that year, my dad saw that how, what my work ethic was, so then he hired me. And after that, I drove forklifts and I drove trucks. I've covered the whole state of Mississippi driving. I know this whole state. I know the people of this state, and I, and I love the people of this state. I, I, other than my wife and, and my son, I've never told anybody this before, but the odds of winning the lottery are extremely low, and I know they're extremely low. But when it gets up to where it's multi-millions and you're going to win $600 million, I do go buy a lottery ticket. When I'm thinking about what I would do if I won that prize, I don't think about buying cars. I don't think about buying houses. I think about what I can do for the state of Mississippi. thought about building a golf course where people could be employed. I've thought about building bridges over rivers that need to be built. Uh, I want, I'll, I'd rather spend that money on them. I don't need, my family doesn't need $600 million, so I think about what I can do for Mississippi, not for me. It's just it's who I am. Uh, I love this state, and I always have loved this state, and I always will love this state. Uh, as, as far as my character, another thing you should know is that uh, I've had relatives of other candidates come up to me to say they're going to vote for me. I've had other attorneys on the other side of cases tell me they're going to vote for me. I've had uh, other judges tell me they're going to vote for me. Uh, I think one of the biggest things that may say a lot about my character is I expect that my ex-wife and her husband are going to vote for me. Uh, that should tell you a lot about who I am. Uh, and again, uh, I think there's a duty to be faithful and impartial, and that's who I am. Uh, I, I don't care who people are. I care about what the law is and, and want to be, do the right thing. There are some criminals that shouldn't have been convicted, and there are some criminals that should stay in jail probably for the rest of their life. And that's just the way they are, and you've got to have the, the guts to do that. 
again, I'm, I'm running out of time now. I think I've covered most everything that I wanted to cover, <clears throat> except that uh, one of my, one of my goal, one of my ideals in life is to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's one of the, the that's what I live by or try to live by. And so I, that's what I've always done. Uh, and, I, and I think that's the way a judge should be. It's the way a, a litigator should be. Uh, I probably settle most cases because I think most cases should be resolved before you get to a judge. Uh, and now I'm, I'm really running out of town now. And I, uh, again, my name is Byron Carter. I grew up in Chickasaw County, Mississippi. I live in Jackson now, or in Byram, actually. Uh, been in Jackson since 1995. Uh, I, kn I know this state. I know the Central District. I know the people that live here. I know your values, and I think I have the same values as you do. Again, experience is the most important thing for a, a judge, whether it be a trial judge or whether it be a, an appellate judge. And I have the experience, I have the most experience as far as appellate procedure and, and, and being an appellate judge. And again, I, I ask you for your vote. I ask for you to tell everybody else about me. Uh, go to my website, byroncarter.com. You can read more about me. And again, I ask for your vote in November and I appreciate it.